Hi guys, this is Omer from MMOHut.com. I'm the first impression gameplay video for Pet Forest, a free-to-play 2D browser-based turn-based MMORPG published by PlayOMG. Now I'll spend about 5-10 minutes running around checking the game out, make some comments. If you guys want to play Pet Forest and just learn more about it, do check it out full review on the link below. So I'm already logged in. It is actually a browser-based game, but graphically it looks pretty good. And it's by Play Oh My God, like I said, they're the same guys behind Neo Online. Azuga, Age of Chaos, funny name, and maybe one or two other games, I'm not sure. But we have a whole bunch of servers over here, so at least that shows the game is somewhat popular. Let's go on Breeze Coast over here. And another thing worth mentioning is that Pet Forest is actually called Kanan Online on G Potato's European portal. They're the same exact game though, they just have different names. And I think it's really silly though, I prefer to have one global server where everybody can play rather than breaking up the player base into European and wherever Pet Forest is hosted. I think Pet Forest is the global version of the same game. So we are in version 0.03, that kind of sucks. Initiating character information. So let's go ahead and make our character. So it looks like a traditional MMORPG, but it's on the browser. Our classes include Warrior, Mage, Priest, and Ranger. How original. All right, we're gonna go with Warrior, male or female, of course, and it doesn't even change my appearance over here at all. But of course, pink hair means women, uh, female, of course, it's obvious, and yeah. Let's go with male, our hairstyle, we have a few to play with. I doubt there's too much. And yeah, his hairstyle includes hair color, I don't know why. And we have a few different hair uh, face options as well. My name will be Rimote, uh, apparently I'm going to verify that. Name is unavailable, alright, we'll go with two Y's. So people take my name all the time, jerks. Let's go click create, because I have never played this game. Rimote, level 1, male warrior, and let's enter the game. So from what I've seen so far, the graphics look pretty bright themed and anime inspired. I like the loading screen though, it's uh... Watering the plants. It'd be cool if the plants grow as it loads. But it may not. And I don't think it will. Oh, there you go. It is. I'm actually going to go skip this like 20 second loading time and just resume when it begins. Alright, here we go. Uh, this loading screen is already pretty wind because we've got these cactuses dancing. And they got like sombreros on. Can't get much better than that. There we go. Music finally started coming on. I was afraid the game wouldn't have music. I hate when games don't have music, it's so silly. Like every game should have some decent background music. So welcome to Pet Forest. It's very it's a very relaxing game, guys. Pet Forest is a very relaxing game. It tells me it's relaxing, I'm gonna take it. Take it for uh, what they say. Alright, my quest daily sign in reward. I need to collect ten whatever these are, and let's go collect those bad boys. Your level is at twenty and is insufficient. Alright, then why is this quest even in front of me if I can't take it? <laughs> let's X that out. There's a gotcha pond over there. I don't know if I can use that. And the game throws me to the game world. In my underwear. Awesome. And I can at least have some clothing. That guy's got overalls and no shirt. He's a boss. So let's go fight some of these flying piglets. Alright, we got a little tutorial over here too. It explains basic combat. So it looks like by left clicking on them, I automatically start the battle. My Kanan piglet. And the game is called Kanan Online in uh, some, you know, on the European portal for a G potato. So I guess they didn't really change the name. Because I have a Kanan piglet over here. How do I fight this thing? Is it all done automatically? Because I clicked nothing and I just won that fight. Look over this guy, as soon as we log in, there's a whole bunch of gold spammers in the game. Not one, not two, like ten of them. There's like ten gold spammers spamming for uh, gold selling websites. The game's player base is actually pretty decent because we saw like five, six different servers, which is always a good thing. There's an awesome sign, it's like a ice cream cone slash chicken hybrid. Let's go fight another flying piglet though, because I'm already level one, I gotta grind it up a little bit. So my hands are off my keyboard, let's see if it does all this automatically. First let me minimize this thing over here. Let's click me over here, I kinda wanna click that. But it looks like combat is done automatically early on. I guess it defaults to my auto attack unless I choose to do something otherwise. Let's do sacred uh, light bomb. See how that bad boy is. I gotta left click it. You want the flash player kind of, so it doesn't let me really right click. Marvelous. He reached level 85, so there's a lot of content in terms of playable levels. We got a warrior prince over there, which is an NPC. So it looks like the first few levels of the game, you're gonna basically be grinding these pigs. And apparently, you start with your own pig over here as well, my Kanan piglet. And the game is called Pet Forest, so I imagine pets play a pretty big role in the game. I mean, it would only make sense. And I'm sure you can get more pets later on, and they might even be able to evolve later on, who knows. So we have skills as well, and our character gets to fight too. So, other games similar to Pet Forest is probably... What else do we have? We have Neverland Online, which is another browser-based, turn-based turn MMORPG. Browser-based, turn-based. And let's go fight another flying piglet. I probably should heal my pig after this. So we have three click me's over here. I'm gonna go... Upgrade and add points, I'll do that. You've been upgraded. I think it needs to say you've been leveled up, or you leveled up, not you've been upgraded. So the translations, of course, are not that good. But that's sort of to be expected in a lot of these Asian games. 
I think Play OMG is actually a Taiwanese portal. But it's available in the United States, and I think it's a worldwide portal as well, so anybody can play these games. But again, you can still play this exact same game. It's called Kanan Online elsewhere. And again, I really get mad when game publishers decide to like publish their games on the numerous titles. I know Gates of Anduron is available worldwide. It's another wild one. And they also have Four Story. It's the exact same game, but it's got two different names, and thus the player base is divided in two. Why do they do that? And again, it's the same thing with this game. So I just want to battle over there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to allot my points. I think I meant to say allocate. So the English translations are pretty cute at best. And of course, I'm going to work on my strength. I got three or four points per level. Check that up. You got a lot of magic resistance over here too. And overall though, graphically, it's pretty cool. And the last game I, re I looked at was Tiger Woods Online. And I definitely see like this movement towards browser-based games. Obviously not everything right away. But it's cool that the browser-based games can support at least decent graphics. Though I'm sure that it has its limits too. Mainly, I can't really right click. It just brings up this settings menu over here for Flash Player 10. And I am seeing other players in town. Music is pretty decent. But the music is actually pretty good. Pretty cheerful. I guess it shows you shadows when you don't get to see them. I'm in Rookie Town. So yeah, the game is really popular. I only wish that the game had no spammers in it. I mean, I hate to see that like decent looking games and games that have potential just get spammed up the wazoo because there's so many people spamming the game. 2000G only costs $8, guys. Are they even are they advertising for this game or wow? It would be pretty funny. The power level.com, etc. So yeah, it kind of sucks. That, I mean, play, can't they just leave like one chat mod online at all times to just ban these people? So I am in this rookie island over here, which is probably the new newbie area in the game. We can zoom out. And the game world looks pretty big. Wow. Yeah, it's a pretty big game world over here. And I am just in this first beginner area. Can I duel this guy over here? Grooks. He's level one. What a nub. Level two. Looks like everybody's... Wow, these pigs must be heavily camped because everybody's looking for stuff to fight right now. I'm gonna take... I can't take the no-no barbarian. He is level eight. I'll take the pip line and see what happens. I can pwn this guy. I kind of want to use my sacred life bomb, but it, it, it should be used. It's called default, so I think it's going to do it automatically. See, I think whichever one you default just gets used right away. Yeah, right now I put my weapon back on default. It's going to smack him with my sword. So combat is actually really easy, and even plays a little, bit, a little bit like Zodiac Online. Because that can also be kind of played on autopilot. So it seems like the combat here is also very autopilotable. That's a word. It should be a word if it's not. You know what also kind of sucks? When I, when I type a lot of these, you know, text reviews and stuff for MOHA, I always, use the word, I always use the word teleport, and apparently teleport is not a word. Come on, that should be a real word. Because I always get the little red squiggly, squiggly lines underneath it in Word or any other. I use open office as well, actually. But yeah, always gets a little red squiggly line under the word teleport. Pretty random right now. So yeah, I, I just AOE these lines. AOE the lines for the win. And they have some stuff on their faces. No, it's not really AOE, it's just my pig and I attack at the same time. Though it's kind of stupid that we're not focused firing one line at a time. I mean, can we control who we attack? I mean, if not, that'd be really bad. No, I don't think I can. can I attack? I don't. No, I don't think I can control who I attack, because I... We should focus fire on one and then kill the other for optimal ownage, but... It does not look like that's happening. And my pig's about to get owned. But, I got this. I got this fight. Attack. I almost left on idle. So yeah, we got it. I gotta rest. I gotta eat my pots. So I'm not sure if I, if I heals me or my pet. My pet information over here. And my pet levels up as well. My pet is level 4. And what is it, switch to defense mode? Nope, leave an attack mode. So you can actually equip other stuff for your pet as well, I think, or whatever these slots are for. Oh, these are your other pet slots. So I guess in a way, it's kind of like Pokemon. You can hold a bunch of pets at once. I think you can only use a few at once, so you can't use them all. It'd be awesome to gank all the lions with your uh, like 10 pets. So we can keep walking around. Graphics are upbeat, of course, upbeat, bright color. Gameplay is pretty smooth, especially for a browser-based game. I can't cross these things over here. There's like a wall of trees. I kind of wish there was a little radar though, I mean, you can click M to bring it up. Okay, I mean, it'd be nice if we had a little radar in the corner, ideally. But again, I kind of wish that Kanan Online and Pet Forge had the same server, it'd just be so much better. And I'm gonna go click on these some more. So every level, it looks like we get... I already used my stat points, why is it telling me again? Auto fight? Yeah, I got auto fight on over there. See my skills menu, I can get assault, chivalry, more skills I can learn. It has four classes, so variety is not terrible. Though, it's not exactly anything too special. L, yeah, pretty basic stuff over here. It seems like a fun game you can play on and off, and it's cool to, you know, that it's on a browser. Uh, I am running out of time, guys, though. If you guys do want to play Pet Forest or to learn more about it, do check it out for a review on the link below. Later, guys.